refuse. I didn't realize there was a downstairs here. What do we have over here? How about that? It's the flea ridden mutant. The flea ridden. Join us, please. Ravi loves company. Oh, these are the guys Look from the Duke. How happy he is to see us. You happy, Ravi? I'm gonna help you out, Ravi. I'm gonna take care of these idiots. Sure, he'd be happier if you stopped digging the point of that dagger in his back. Oh, you're just saying that because you don't know the situation. Our mutual friend Ravi was just about to play for his life, and. Uh, Oh, you got the card. What else do you want? If you'd just given it up, instead of trying to cheat us, we'd be out of your hair already. Hmm. As it is, that's all your fingers broke. So, it seems the Witcher will have to pay for it. Can't I just kill these guys? Sound good. That seems easier. Ah! See? Rav is on board. What do you say? We add some spice to the game. Raise the stuff. Ravi's life and the Natalis I think those are the same character models. See that. Ravi and the guy with the mask on. Sure, man. Let's play. Agreed. <laughs> I mean, here I thought you'd be no fun at all. Well, fortunately let's for play. me, let's play. I've got a pretty good hand. Pretty good deck. In general, you think that being aware of the origin of the products that most of us buy should be an important thing. People have power and a choice, even if it looks faded. Yeah, that's true, man. That's a good point. It doesn't feel often like we have much power or any uh, choice or voice, even. But you're you're not wrong. You're not wrong. I don't see any reason to change our deck at the moment. Unless I could get rid of the dandelion card. It'll be useful maybe in some some point. Three Reavers, hell yeah. Um, let's reroll Death Mold, probably. Another Siege Expert? I don't think I need two Siege Experts. Okay, we didn't get any card draw. That's rough when we don't get a card draw, or Commander's Horn, or our Decoy card. What's his power? Torrential Rain, okay. I wonder... I definitely don't want to run my Reavers into a Scorch. Let's just let's run Siri out, make him play some cards, see where we end up. Let's see if that baits a Scorch. Pass. No, he's going to keep playing. I might pass, though, because I'm up big. He's going to have to lay at least two cards to flip to beat me here, and he's going to go down to four. So I'm going to pass. There's one, there's two. It still is not going to beat me. Gosh, his hand sucked. <laughs> he drew terrible cards. This is hilarious he's even like nerfing himself there he's not even he couldn't even beat me he couldn't beat me with his cards that's a terrible hand good grief that's like that's as bad as you could have gotten man it's a really garbage hand that doesn't even affect you and that's funny he drew, like, the worst cards. That's going to affect the Reavers, I guess, but I can always clear it. doesn't really matter. We've already won. I just like seeing how high we can get the point score. The triple Reavers is pretty good. Imagine having a Commander's Horn on that. The guy laid nine cards and couldn't beat three of mine, or four of mine. Yes! Curb your enthusiasm, mate. And sit still, or you'll hurt yourself. Curb your enthusiasm? But 
Like the show? But he won! So, now we'll play something else. What? Sword fights? I'm great with those. Come on, Earl. What you got, Holmes? Come on, come closer. Oh, man. <laughs> 